It's Saturday the 11th of December. Welcome to Narrowboat the James Bill. Hope you're very well. Thanks for joining me. Bed's progressing nicely. Uh, I need to work out still how I'm going to support the bit that slides out, whether it's feet that fold down or whether it's something on the side, on the port side wall, which kind of folds down or something like that. Um, there is someone that is sending me some drawings of a way that legs can fold from within the bit that pulls out, which I can't quite see any void where such leg could stow away um, without being noticeable. But anyway, I will leave it to them. Uh, so I'll await that drawing uh, with eagerness um, and anticipation of a solution which might prevent me from having something on the port wall. But otherwise, that's what I'll have to do. Um, the next thing I need to draw my attention to is waxing it so that it kind of slides in and out nicely and that the mattress moves on in it nice and easily and stuff. So even though the slats are all pretty flat, um, they need to be treated. Um, all the other wood in the boat, so this oak here and the oak in the bedroom, um, I've used Danish oil on, um, uh, which works really well, it brings out a lovely colour. Um, but really the purpose of this is not to enhance the colour, it's to make it nice and slidey. Um, and two bits of wood with Danish oil on them, as much as they've got a nice kind of sheen to them, they're not as slidey as two bits of wood with wax on them. So, and people have suggested all different types of waxes, like candle wax or whatever. Um, I don't know about any of that. Uh, I didn't want to buy any more, so I've just got myself some of this from um, Mum has uh, got, well, I said, have you got any that I could borrow? She thought oh, she might have some. She went into the dark age, sorry, the garage, and pulled out one of these, which I haven't seen before, Bry wax. I think this is pretty old, given the fact that it's got a uh, an appointment to the royal household on it, to uh, George the Sixth. So I take the slat off the board, otherwise it wobbles around way too much. So I unscrew it and using the saw, I lop off the end and then using the plane, I can just make that nice and rounded. Right, so I'm just... I've just shaped these two, these boards here, you'll see. That's the angle I've got on that. So I'm just going on with some bry wax at the moment. Okay, so I've now completed the, well, the back bit. Anyway, this lot here, I've put some wax on it now. It slides so much easier. And the other thing, what I've done, well, you know what I've done, but on all of those edges, it doesn't really, it's not very easy to show you because I don't want them to bend, but they've all been shaped like that, so they kind of glide in quite easily, even if it was kind of turned down a little bit. Anyway, as it's flat, yeah, that's nice. I will do those sides as well, the fixed ones, but for the moment, I just wanted these to slide. I'll also wax the uh bits the cross beams right now I've got to do this lot
Perfect. That's quite a decent example there. So it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to attach this one back on with the others. idea is it catches my go on to that bit there but even though they're kind of a little bit out of line because they've been shaped so much they glide in perfectly excellent yeah well happy with that. that's a good job that is I'm going to change the uh, the front boards as well because that's going to form part of the fascia of the whole bed which is obviously the uh, Kind of the next task to be getting on with but for the moment for this weekend that works a treat happy days it's important that we look out for one another on the uh living on the cut just walk past this boat here and seen that it's been drifting out i've just been to knock on it there's no one oh there's no one on there doesn't seem to be anyway despite the fact that the Cratch cover is kind of partly open. Anyway, it's come away from its moorings, so I'm going to get on board and uh, bring it back in and tie it up for her. So their pin had come out, so I've attached it back on. Nearly slipped off the gun on myself on that one. And to show them that the boat was interfered with, but by a fellow boater, and I use their centre line I had to uh, put their centre line back properly. This is pretty nice. Not that those are the finished mattresses by any stretch, but this kind of slides in and out freely with something on it, which is perfect. Something I have to be mindful of which I, in fairness, did know, is that obviously it's got a curve to it here. So um, this is the furthest it comes out kind of on a straight with that one being kind of a, along the same line. This one, it could actually come out another foot. Where basically, it can occupy that space there. So I guess if I or Ava wanted to sleep on this bit here and have a bit more length, then that would be... Uh, sufficient but obviously that only takes into account if you're sleeping this way if you're sleeping down here then basically i've just got an extra an extra person which is rather useful because i've got a lot of people well me and the kids have come down to rickmansworth to batchworth lock where there is a carol concert happening tonight oh wow look at this this looks lovely Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want them to play Hark the Herald. That's my favourite carol. But only if they do it with Descant. Like proper. I'll get in there. Tune.
well that was lovely definitely worth coming out of the rain for come on kids we've got to go right see you guys tomorrow take care bye bye